Hi, this is Sean Captain with Tech News Daily, and we're here at the annual Maker Fair here in New York City, looking at a lot of interesting creations, and we're seeing a lot of these drones, these autonomous flying vehicles. We're here with Ted Carancho from Aeroquad. Aeroquad. And uh, Ted, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what this is and how it comes together and, and what it costs? Okay, absolutely. Um, this is our Aeroquad. It's a quadcopter. They have four rotors. So these sensors are what tells uh, the quadcopter to be level. So if it detects that there's drift in this direction, uh, our, those sensors will uh, uh, detect that. We'll do the math inside of the microcontroller mm -hmm. to write itself. If it leans this way, we'll speed these two motors up and it will level itself. And it'll just continually uh, do that process uh, to keep it level. It's very, very easy to fly. In your there, phone, you've got all the sensors you need to fly a plane. You know, the, every Android or, or iPhone has gyros, accelerometers, and compass, and GPS, and wireless, and processing, and, and these chips are available to anybody. So um, we ended up starting a company, 3D Robotics, and uh, we have Arju Copter, Arju Plane, Arju Rover. Well, we're all moving into the, uh, the ARM era. So we started with Arduino, and we still love Arduino, but we're now moving up to much more powerful processors. Can you say quickly what Arduino is? Arduino is, uh, is the uh, open source uh, called physical computing platform. So it's a, it's a board that's easy to program that you can connect sensors to, and it can take our computing into the physical world. You can turn on lights and LEDs and interact with sensors. And it, it's kind of a tangibility to computing. It's very easy to use. We started with Arduino, mm -hmm. and that's still our main uh, system that we like to fly. So we have a, a flight control board that has that uses an Arduino Mega, Uno, and even Pro Mini. And what does that mean about Mega, Uno, and oh, Pro Mini? <laughs> those are different Arduinos that you okay. could uh, use. Okay. The uh, Arduino Mega has a lot more I/O pins, so we could uh, uh, do a lot more things with that platform. You can see we have a camera attached to a video transmitter. And we have a ground station back there, so what people like to do is FPV flying, first person viewing flying. So they will, they'll wear goggles and they'll have this thing flying in the air, wearing the goggles. And as a matter of fact, we're doing that and we flew to the uh, rocket ships behind you, uh, just uh, wearing the goggles. So what, one of the things we did recently is we participated in a DARPA competition called UAV Forge. Mm -hmm. And what we did is we, they, they took us to a, a forest. We flew two miles to a fake city, their urban training center. Mm -hmm. We landed on, we're supposed to land on a rooftop, watch some bad guys for three hours, and then we flew two miles back to our, our starting location. So if you can imagine this, you won't see this when it flies two miles away. All it was was the video uh, from the camera and our pilot flying that distance and he was able to maneuver and fly back without crashing. And, and could it fly on its own without a pilot? Uh, we, it, it, yes, it, okay. it could do that. There are other guys that were doing that. We decided to do uh, manual control for that day. Our job is to make them cheaper, smaller, and smarter. And, uh, you know, right now the drones cost a few hundred dollars, but there's no reason that they can't cost under a hundred dollars. And then you start thinking about three, five, ten, fifty, etc. You know, think of robotic fireworks. You know, we're putting the personal into drones, taking unmanned aerial vehicles away from the military industrial complex.